I welcome you to today's lesson. It's uh, really good to, to have you. So today we are looking at um, abstract nouns. Abstract nouns. So what is an abstract noun? An abstract noun is, um, you know, simply a name of a quality, of an action, or a state. So it's a name of a quality, a name of an action, or indeed a name of a state. So um, again, I know this sounds a bit confusing, but it's going to be made, you know, clearer as we look at certain uh, examples. So very quickly, let us examine our examples. John is known for his kindness. John is known for his kindness. Okay. The second example. So let us look at um, you know um, um, at the examples that are given to us so that we can have a firm understanding of what um, abstract nouns are. So let's look at that first example once again. John is known for his kindness. When when you when you examine the term or the word kindness, this is a form of an abstract noun. You, you cannot touch kindness, but you can experience it. So kindness here is actually an abstract of quality because kindness is describing you know, the quality that John possesses or the nature of John. The second one, he was arrested for robbery. He was arrested for robbery. Now the word robbery there, as shown by being underlined, is an abstract noun of action. Robbery is an action. The moment I, I, I say the word robbery, already you're picturing maybe you know, somebody with a gun uh, breaking into a house you know, and getting things you know, from there. So this word robbery is an abstract noun and specifically that of what action. In the last example, his childhood was full of joy. His childhood was full of joy. The word childhood is an abstract noun. It's actually an abstract noun of state, meaning that uh, you know childhood is actually describing a state of, of, of being. There's adulthood, childhood, you know, and youth, if you like. So all those terms. Are actually you know referring to uh, abstract nouns of, of state so very quickly what have we looked at today number one we began by defining what an abstract noun is because we've been looking at abstract nouns today so we said an abstract noun is just the name of a quality or a name of um, uh, an action or a name of a state. To make clearer what we are talking about, we looked at uh, these examples. John is known for his kindness. He was arrested for robbery. His childhood was full of joy. The words kindness, robbery, and childhood are all abstract nouns, but depicting you know, different aspects of an abstract noun. 
So kindness, quality, robbery, action, childhood, state. So, um, as we finally end this lesson, remember that um, abstract nouns are not tangible things. You cannot touch them. But they explain a quality, an action, an action or a state of being. So thank you so much for your attention. Please enjoy uh, attempting the exercises that are going to be given. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon.